Hello, my name is Dan Hutt, and I'm the instructor for the Nebraska Promise Program for lower income native Nebraska students here at UNL, administered through the Center for Academic Success and Transition. In our inaugural 2020 21 year, I've taught 11 in person seminar sections, all designed to acclimate students to university life and get them started off on the right foot in college. We emphasize the liberal arts in our program and art analysis techniques in our curriculum to help students discern between their developing identities and their forthcoming selection of major. Across universities in this nation, students arrive in their freshman year hungry to establish who they are and where they fit and combine that with admissions marketing that encourages them to graduate quickly and start their lives and common university mandates to declare a major sooner than later. And this can lead to a cosmetic resolution of students prematurely declaring their major in order to satisfy both conundrums. I'm familiar personally with this dilemma having changed my major 10 times and ending up with the very English major that I probably should have maintained the entire time. In order to avoid this pitfall, our Nebraska Promise Seminar sections ventured one by one to view the torn notebook sculpture in downtown Lincoln. We discussed how torn notebook is the myriad result of many disciplines, from sculpture to engineering to physics to literature, and how that liberal arts emphasis takes the pressure off the viewer from having to choose tomorrow. And both our guest speakers joining us by webinar Nebraska Appeals Court Justice Rico Bishop and former Nebraska Governor and U.S. Senator Bob Carey advocated for the liberal arts and the humanities in particular as effective conduits both for developing identity and building community. I, I love all kinds of music and I, I did use music to teach writing, creative writing. Um, I use music to inspire people's you know, minds to go wherever the music would take them and how that would lend itself, you know, on paper. And uh, it was a great experiment with students to do that. And the great thing about music and, and, and art is when you come face to face with you, it, it can be quite inspiring. Back in the classroom, we examined the work of local folk artist, Danny Stewart, and examined potential vocational pathways again, without regard to specific discipline or selection of college major. In our activity, the students select their ideal life and vocational goal from Stewart's traffic light options of dream job, day job, day dream, or meaningful work, and explain their positioning on the light pole accordingly. This semester in Nebraska Promise 2, we have continued to turn to art analysis to ask broad-based questions about communication in educational, professional, and personal contexts through the works of Danny Stewart, classic children's illustrator Philippe Fix, and 20th century American painter Edward Hopper, respectively. We've taken to using as our guide Indian author Salman Rushdie's wonderful axiom from his 1999 novel, The Ground Beneath Her Feet. The only people who see the whole picture are the ones who step outside the frame. But even when the big picture or the frame itself seem blurry, remember that it's okay to be temporarily lost. As Senator Kerry agrees, that can be part of college too. You learn something you didn't know before, and it's it's uh, you know it's it's important to appreciate that, even if there's no practical application. Sometimes, particularly if there's no practical application, you don't have to declare a major or affiliate with an organization to be active and involved either. As with the TV show bearing the same name of this symposium, anonymity, the opposite of identity, 
can be a virtue while you're hiding out in the front row and dipping in your Renaissance tone. In some, when students are desperate to declare an identity and obligated to declare a major, it can often lead to rushed, half-hearted decisions with little chance of sticking. It's important to remember that your selection of college major and your future profession are only parts of your overall identity, and those can only develop on their own timeline. As with so many things, however, art can help you sort through all of that. So meanwhile, write in as many course notebooks as you can until one day you find yourself writing in one without anyone telling you to. Somebody here to me promises everything just when I thought it was safe. The copies go and away. I'm getting older. Nobody here but me can do this.